Now that you know what Sonos is all about, let's take a look at the musical selections and sources Sonos offers, not only from your computer, but also directly from your Android phone. So this is the home screen of the app and it shows which different zones you have set up. I have the bedroom and the TV room. Right now I'm in the TV room so I'm going to select that. And this little home button here will always take you back to that screen wherever you are, wherever you see that little icon which is pretty convenient. Also whenever you're in a zone you can always change the music by pressing the music button in the top. So this is when it gets really exciting where I can choose all these different sources of music. Let me just give you a little tour. Music library both pulls from my iTunes. Um, which everything up here is all from my iTunes, but there's also my computer, uh, which is folders. I, de I determine certain folders that have music in it that I just uploaded to my computer. So let me show you artists, and just uh, you can go through and see all the different artists I have, and I can play any of this right from my computer, which actually is over in that room, and I can play it downstairs, or I can play it in the speaker that's right over there. But it's, this is really cool. So I've got all this access and control right from my phone. So that is uh, just from my iTunes. And I can also, here's the folders. I can go directly into my computer. Uh, and pretty awesome, if you ask me. So that's just stuff on my computer. Now let's go continue to go back and do radio. Now this is really cool. So I have local radio set up for my um, zip code. And you can just see here it'll allow me to see you know pick a radio station local yeah that's cool and all but I can also do you know say I want music station that's classic rock I can choose featured stations but these are stations all over the world um, so I've got access to all these different stations all different types of genres that's not even what I think is even close to cool when it comes with radio check this out so you can do uh, location down here and I could choose somewhere like in Africa and let's try Egypt uh, and I could choose a radio station to play from Egypt I mean, that to me is pretty awesome and there we go we're listening to a radio station in Egypt right now directly from my Android phone, piped into my speakers. This is why I love Sonos and why I think it's so awesome. Uh, let's get some more information. I wonder if there's, uh, it doesn't look like too much information we can dive into, but I was just absolutely fascinated by this. Just really cool. If you're from different parts of the you know, country and you want to listen to your hometown radio or where you used to live, it's very cool because you can pipe directly into that. But the radio feature is awesome. I mean, immediately you have access to hundreds and hundreds, thousands and thousands, really, of different radio stations and artists through that. So that's radio, very cool. I have set up Last FM here and Pandora, so I can you know, tag or, or start a new station based on an artist and begin listening through... Um, Last FM. If you have a Last FM account, then you can uh, you can use that and start scrabbling. Pandora. I can create a radio station, Counting Crows Radio, for example, and start listening to it right now. So Pandora it has, which is very awesome. And right now I'm listening to Counting Crows through Pandora, which is really awesome. Keep in mind here that if I wanted to, I could be changing and putting something else on in the bedroom. So let's go back to the TV room. And let me, actually no, let's uh, let's show some of the other options here. So there's Pandora, Sonos Playlist, Line In, so I could connect an iPod or something else, or whatever I want really into, um, into the back as I showed you before the input. And then there's more music, so I can uh, add these other services too, iHeartRadio, Napster, uh, RDO or Radio, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, Rhapsody, Sirius XM, Wolfgang's Vault, and more music choices. The one that I would like to see on here is Slacker, but I mean, you can't really complain with how much that you have to choose from. Your own library, radio stations from around the world, Last FM, Pandora Radio, iHeartRadio, Napster, RDO, Rhapsody, Sirius, I mean, 
This really runs the gamut. You will never run out of things to listen to, and you always have what you want at the tip of your fingers. So I was overly impressed with all the access to music you have. Um, this is really, this access to music from your pocket in your Android phone is really why Sonos is the ultimate music ex music experience. I mean, I, I've been pretty much blown away by how cool it is. And once you, like, don't have it around, you really miss not having it. It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty funny how that goes. You can do some even more interesting things if you want to try and group your music into zones. You see, I can put the TV and the bedroom together. And now when I select this, I can select my music and change the volumes differently in each room which is pretty cool and then you know if they're playing different things so I can ungroup them oops zone group and then uncheck it now they're two different zones and of course in here I just change the the volume for each one manually nothing's playing right now so you can't hear the volume but that's that. So the app is very simple and straightforward, but it gives you access to unlimited music at the tip of your fingers in all throughout your house, wherever you have Sonos speakers, in a very clean and easy way. You just need to know that here's the volume, here's where I can see what different speakers and music I have going on, my different options, and then if you want to go into one, okay, let me decide what I want to listen to in that room. Awesome, awesome, awesome.